In this video, I want to show you how you can easily export uh, in a WebP format in Figma. Now, in one of my previous videos, I mentioned that uh, squash.app is uh, my number one favorite resource in order to optimize images from Figma, because as you may know, when you export a Figma image, the file size is quite high and uh, you don't really have access to all of the optimized web formats. But uh, in order to export uh, in uh, a popular format like WebP, which uh, is uh, definitely ideal in a lot of cases uh, on the web, you can easily use this uh, plugin, which uh, going to show you right here. So under the plugins section, simply search for WebP and you're going to find a few of them. The one that you want to activate is a WebP exporter. And once you select, for example, this frame right here, you can see how I can easily rename it to Radiant 2. And uh, the magic of uh, this plugin relies on uh, the preferences. So as you can see, once I click on preferences, you're going to find a few different options. The first one is uh, related to the quality and uh, the resolution. So we have optimized the size checked by default. I usually keep it as it is. And uh, you can also select uh, if you want to export it at 1x, uh, 1.5, uh, 2, 3, 4. And this is essentially a multiplier. So 1x uh, essentially means that it's going to export it exactly at this dimension, which in this case, it's 106 pixels by 106 pixels. And uh, if you check 2x, uh, it's going to be double that, 3x, triple, and so on. So you can select uh, just uh, and for, for this example, we're just going to do one X and the, the naming is also going to change in depending on your options that you select right here. So for example, convert to lowercase, preserve layer name, convert to case sensitive. These are all options that you can have as well as the prefixes. And you can also decide if you want the folder structure, which is optimized for an Android export directly from here. In this case, uh, <clears throat> we're simply going to keep it as it is. And I can simply export, uh, find uh, exactly where I want to export this. Uh, and uh, I'm going to click on uh, save. And if I go in uh, the finder view, as you can see, we have this uh, um, gradient exporting WebP with uh, just three kilobytes. So definitely optimized. 